Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another video and welcome to the second recommended reads uh, episode in this experimental series I am doing where I recommend books that I feel people should read um, regardless of, you know, reading level, um, education uh, level, R regardless of all of that, I feel these, I feel everybody should read these books that, um, that I am recommending. Uh, if you want to check out the first episode, uh, just go to my channel um, and search Recommended Reads. Uh, I did the book How to Be Right by Greg Gutfeld, um, which is a politically, slightly politically biased um, novel. Um, but you can, you can check out that video. That'll tell you all about how politically biased it may be. But uh, the book I have chosen for today um, for this video is the seven habits of highly effective people. Now, I don't know how well you guys can see it. Oh, that's pretty good. Um, it, it was written over 25 years ago, uh, by Stephen R. Covey. Uh, and as you can see, it's got a slight little rip down here, a little fold up there, a uh, little mistreatment on my end. Um, but what you expect a teenager to actually treat their stuff properly? Pfft. What are you stupid? All right. Well, anyway, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, this this book is not politically biased uh, in any way, um, and you can tell just by looking at the uh, at the recommendations or testimonials on the uh, on the back cover. Uh, one of them is by Ariana Huffington, who uh, created slash founded the Huffington Post, which is a news slash media outlet. Uh, that is completely liberal based and I am not a liberal I am a conservative liberal equals Demo Democrat conservative equals Republican for those of you that don't know uh, so that's a completely Democrat based um, website and um, she she even left a testimony on there so you know that this book is not politically biased in any way and what this book is really about uh, it essentially provides you with seven habits of highly effective people so let's say for example you have the motivation to do things like you see something on tv and you're like damn i really want to get some work done i want to do things you know but you just never actually go forth with what you're with what you want to do you know you just don't have the ending amount of drive to actually put the things you want to do in action this book covers it you know it Really, this book is all about, you know, getting you motivated, you know, getting you to get things done, you know, um, just managing your time well, all sorts of different things in this book. There are way more than seven habits in this book. Uh, it's just the seven main habits with a bunch of, you know, I guess, quote unquote, sub habits uh, to follow those up. But th this book is really, you know, just an amazing book. Uh, it's sold over 25 million copies, so obviously I'm not bullshitting you here. Um, and just so you guys know, right, right, right at the top, right, right, right around here somewhere. Um, geez, the ripped. Okay. Well, anyway, over 25 million copies sold. Obviously, I'm not bullshitting you here. This is a really good book. And just because it was written 25 years ago does not mean that it is still, I mean, that its ideas, its morals, its, um, it's uh it's thoughts it's opinions it's everything uh is outdated hell no it's not outdated no way no way this book is timeless one of those books that is timeless um it's written uh where you know modern teenagers can understand the language the english used you know um unlike of mice and men or something like that where you can't understand a single word they're saying um but that, that's a whole different thing. Um, it, it's written so that anyone can read it. Um, he did, uh, Stephen Covey did write a separate book for teenagers and everything, but I'm not recommending that because I want to recommend the book that works for everybody. And teenagers can still read this book. It's not, you know, um, too factual or, you know, too highly, um, too, too difficult to read. It's not. Um, anyone can understand it. He writes it in a way where it's as if he's talking to you, like he's he's literally in the flesh, like in the same room with you, talking to you about the book. Um, it, it's really a great book. Uh, 
it, it's so popular to the point where if you walk into any bookstore, they're bound to have it, um, unless of course they sell out. Um, they're bound to have the book. Uh, when I bought it, how much was it? Was it? Uh, it was about. It was expensive um, because of how popular it is. Uh, yeah, it was seventeen dollars, which is pretty expensive for a book. I mean, that's about the average price for a new book that comes out. But this book is over 25 years old. Um, so just because of the popularity, the price is still that high. Uh, so, I mean, if you're willing to shell out, um, you know, that kind of money for, um, for this book, uh, then I definitely recommend doing so. It, it's a great book. teaches you all sorts of different things. Um, you know, in, in your personal life, uh, when you're at your job, um, when you're working, uh, if you want to start a business, you know, all sorts of different things. It gives you, you know, just, just different lessons, you know, like teaches you different things, teaches you how, basically how to be more effective, hence the name of the book or the novel. Um, but yeah, there's a link down to it. If you want to order the book, uh, Online, I've linked to it. Uh, linked to it on Amazon. Uh, I'm not sure if it's more expensive than where I got it from. I got this from um, a literal Barnes and Noble uh, bookstore, um, so I don't know which is actually more expensive. You could probably get a used copy on Amazon for uh, much cheaper than seventeen dollars. I don't know though. Um, don't take my word for that. Um, but I definitely recommend reading the book. Uh, it's it's a great book. Great book great book i can't i can't really give it any sort of fault um it, it it really does help it's helped me uh you know get stuff done um get the motivation um actually take my motivation and put it to use uh i def definitely recommend it especially if you know you do let's playing like i do you know you have to do a lot of things and you have to uh do it with own within your own time constraints uh and this book definitely helps with the, uh managing time uh that's one of the big things in this book actually managing time uh so i definitely recommend it to anyone and everyone um you know regardless of political um parties regardless of anything that uh divides people definitely recommend the book but um yeah that's it for this video uh like i said before uh towards the introductory to this video this series is experimental which means I'm putting out three videos. This is the second one for this series to start out. Uh, if the videos are successful enough, if people like these videos enough, I will continue putting these out every Tuesday. This video is late as of um, as a result of um, some camera problems, which I explained in the weekly update video put out. Um, it, it's either going to be put out after this video or before it. Um, I don't know. Uh, on on Saturday, of course, but um, yeah, definitely recommend the book. Um, you know the whole experimental series thing. That's all I really need to say. But uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comment section. Subscribe to my channel for more gaming and recommended reads content. Um, thank you all so much for watching. I love you very much, and I'll talk to you later.